ना फिर ये नहीं कि ओके गाइज सो इन कपल ऑफ टूटोरियल्स वी हैव सीन हाउ डू इंस्टॉल स्नार क्यूब विद द पब्लिक डेटा बेस एंड इंटीग्रेट इट विद जिंकिस राइट सो इन द सेशन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट इट विद पोस्ट ग्रेज सीक्वल राइट बिकॉज द माई सिकल हैज़ बिन डेप्रिकेटेड सो द फर्स्ट स्टेप आई हैव अगेन मैंशन यू हैव टू परफॉर्म द सेम थिंग्स सर्बर विद दीज आर द मिनिमम रिक्वायरमेंट्स right so you follow it before you get started with doing the you know database installation so the first thing to set up the my postgres sql it should be either 9 or above 9 so we are going to take the version 10 right so to create the repository so you just have to use this command or go to the postgres sql repository and take the version you want to install <coughs> that's totally up to you right so go ahead and do this so the repository is already there for me so that's what it it's not updating the package right the second step for you to install the postgres sql right to installing the postgres sql just follow the instruction that i have written here so yum install postgres sql 10 hyphen server and postgres sql hyphen contrib right so the packages would be already installed hopefully here so not then that's fine okay you can see the postgres postgres has been successfully installed now so once you are do, doing done with the postgres installation now you need to initialize the database first time right so this is the location of your database and to initialize it you just need to write in it db right so just go ahead so it says the data directory is not empty this is because i have already installed it for the demo purpose to create the documentation so once you run this it will show you like database has been initialized right and once you have done with the database initialization you need to make couple of changes right you have to open one file which is called the var lib pg sql data and this location and make couple of changes here so inside pg sql 10 and to tab so inside the data and here you will get the file here i also forget that that's p.conf so i think let me update this file here okay right. so take the make sure you take the backup before you make any changes so you need to add couple of things here so here you have to from intent you need to change this to peer i had already changed it so i, I do not need to do it if you see the documentation here by default you will get here peer indent indent peer and indent right what you need to do is you need to change these two from indent to md5 and you know the socket for the local host you need to do it peer so this is what i have done here peer md5 md5 and i have also tried to bind the database in all the ip addresses in the system that's what i have given the 0.0.0/0 so just bind it in the all the ip address of your host so make sure you make these changes once you're done with this save and exit the file right and you'll have by default one user will be created with the postgres sql name so first you'll have to start and you know enable the database also so start it and enable it for the run time so that if your system gets rebooted it gets it comes up automatically right and you can also check the version using this command here so i have written all the instruction here easily so that you can you can run it so you can see this is the version of your postgres install so now you have to perform couple of steps here right so by default a sonar cube user will be available in the system so you just need to reset the password of that sonar cube postgres user right and log in with that postgres user and create databases and user from that you can do passwd postgres sql 
give any password to it now switch to that user now log into the database sorry so once you hit the psql you will see this prompt here right now the time for you to create a database create user and set password of that user so i have written all the instruction here right the first thing here you can see create a user sonarqo db i mean sorry the database go ahead and put this command here this already exist no problem and you can give the password to this user here so replace this with your strong password right and if you want to put some encrypted password uh, you can go to the google here right and you can you know you can write here encrypt password online right you can choose any tool from here right and just give the password whatever you want to put here and encrypt that here right encrypt and decrypt you can do it from here so uh, let's say allow so once you click here this will give you the encrypted password you can copy this and you can put it here or you can keep you can re you can remove this if you do not want the encrypted password right once you are done with creating this user you just need to grant all the privileges to this right you can write here grant all privileges on the database so an rcube db to this an rcube user and once you are done with aligning the permissions you can exit from the database so you have created your schema now so you have given the permission you have updated the schema you can exit out from here right and even now exit from the database itself right so once you are done with this you need to make the changes in the sonarqo so let's get started with the sonarqo installation now so ngpo sonarqo you already know this how to do all right and now navigate to the sonar and just rename it also again. mv sonarqo Let's rename it to SonarQ only. CD SonarQ. And navigate to the com section here. In the com section, you will get the sonar.properties. Make sure you take the backup of the properties in case if there is some disaster, you can roll back this. Navigate to the sonar.properties and find a couple of things here. So the first is your credential. And comment these two lines from here. What was your username? You give it here. Sonarqo. What was your password? You can give it here. Whatever your password was. Alright. And the next thing is which database we are going to use here. Here you can see we have Oracle database. We have PostgreSQL and some other databases. Microsoft SQL. So we are going to use, uh, you can say, PostgreSQL. So what parameter you need to put it here? Either you can copy paste it. Uh, so sorry. So I'll not change it. I'll not do anything on this. I'll quickly copy it from here itself, from my my document itself. So you can just you know write this line here. So I will just explain it. Either you just uncomment it and remove everything till here and write it. You can see here PostgreSQL, the same is the local host and your SonarCube DB. You have to give your schema name here, right? Whatever the database you created. Sometimes you keep on putting your username and username here and which will keep on giving you the error. Make sure you are putting here your schema name, your database name. So this is what it says so once you are done with this just scroll it down by default it will start in 9000 port if you want to change the port you can do it also from this configuration file so let's come down to the web server section here in web server section 
how you wants to start this by default you see it will start over the local host so if you want to start in all the IP available in your system so go ahead and remove this line it says 0.0.0, .0 means if you have more IP, 4 IP in your system this NRQ will be accessible in all four those 4 IPs that's what I have given here 0.0.0, .0. and by default it will start over the 9000 port even if you do not uncomment it if you want to change this port you can do this so I would say let's go on the by default 9000 port and save this configuration here I have written these things in the documentation also all right so NRQ username your password and this and your profile so once you are done with this again add users on RQ. my user is already there so what I'm going to do is I will go back CD OPT I will do CHO on sonar cube I mean only sonar with the sonar cube so I have changed the ownership because I want to start it with the sonar cube user I mean sonar user so I will switch to sonar now you can see I have logged into the sonar user Go to the sonar cube directory go to bin and just give a start sonar start. so and let's validate the log if everything is going fine log sonar dot log it's coming up the process the web process is also up right you can see the process is up now and the sonar cube is up right so, uh, so let's navigate here and see if the sonar cube is working so because I am hosting in the same box so I'll go with this so, So you can see sonar cube is up and running and now again this is similar you'll have to just integrate it with your Jenkins server so login with admin because that was the same box because same installation so again I think we will be we are able to see that in cache or something admin. can see this is up and running so one thing I would like to tell you also if I go to this web process most of the time you will see you know when your sonar cube is not coming up and you logged into the web server you can see there are so many repositories and initialize will happen here so many plugins and something right here so most of the time you will see your this is by default now you see this is connecting you with your database first right it connected with your database and everything was fine but if you are getting some error like this cannot connect and something like that so just see the errors here right below you will see some errors right uh, those error most probably would be like your password is incorrect and something right in PG SQL if you want to change the password and if you are having some confusion so just go to your user again hyphen l post gres right so once you log in with this user you need to do psql right and simply change your password here pssword and what was your username and let's say sonar cube right so just give your password updated password here and just give restart to your box again so that will help you